is gorgeous, okay? Y'all ever had that boyfriend that he was just so fine? I mean, just a gorgeous specimen of a man. But he had some character flaws. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you all are having a great day on today. You guys, in this video, okay, I'm getting into some more kind of new, new. I think this week came out a couple weeks ago, but you know, I've been delayed in getting these out. But anywho, so in this video, I'm wearing these gorgeous lashes right here. I decided to invest in some magnetic lashes. Now I've worn magnetic lashes before. Um, this company I reviewed some contact lens for, they had some magnetic lashes. I liked them because it was easy. You just put on the, the magnetic lash liner, pop your magnetic lashes on top, and I went on my way. And I've been seeing Glamnetic pop up every time I'm on Instagram. And me being me, honey, I just had to try it out. So what I did was I bought the bundle of four. I bought Lust, Lush, and Lux. And I bought Lavish. So these came in a bundle of four. And I think total, including the with the liner, my total purchase was like 107 And I think the shipping may or may not have been free. If not, it's all included in that $107 which is an investment for itself for some magnetic lashes. Now, so far, they holding up. I'm going to work out tonight, and I'm going to see if they hold up through my workout. And if they do, honey, I'm still going to play around with the other ones I got, but I'm going to be on the train. But I'm going to keep y'all posted in case you're interested. But so far, they have been easy to apply, okay? And I'm here for it because my natural lashes curl up, which makes applying lashes with glue very difficult because I got to hold down my natural lashes and put the faux lash on top. But anywho, that's enough about Glamnetic. I'll be keeping you guys posted probably in my stories just on how they're holding up and if they're worth the coin. Because if you did the calculations, that's about $25 for a pair, okay? And ooh, cha. But we're going to see. I think you're supposed to be able to get 50 wears out of each pair but we gonna see this this day three and they they they, they still apply it pretty well as long as you clean them properly they should hold up but we gonna see okay we're gonna be in this thing together <laughs> but anyway in this video right here hey janet collection has been coming through okay because i've tried a few units here recently i have to put some pictures in of the units i know one for sure is bold and um, the one that was textured, I can't remember the name right offhand, but that one came through. I still have her in my collection. Well, let's bold. They staying in my collection. And we're going to see if Miss Juniper is going to stay. But honestly, my wig is about to put me out of my house, okay? Because I need to put some on my Macari. And I need to part with my best friends, y'all. My wig's like my best friends and I don't be wanting to part. But my space like, girl, you better do something. <laughs> But anyway, you guys, let's get into Miss Juniper. I have her in color number two. Let's get into it. Okay, you guys, here is the start card for Miss Juniper. Again, color number two. This is the inside of the start card, which just shows you the parting space and to see the difference between their melt lace and other brands and some color variety that she comes in. Now, I didn't realize my girl is a 13 by six frontal part wig okay and I'm here for that so that means you're gonna have some versatility with parting if you're a middle part girl you can do a middle part if you're a left part girl like me you can do a left part or a right part but you know I'm not holding strong to any parts because these wigs then you know help me come out of my comfort zone with the parting space but anyway so here is Miss Juniper okay and they're saying she is pre-plucked pre-customized and she has a natural hairline so this is what the hairline looks up close without any lace tint or anything applied to her. She does come with some baby hairs here, okay? Inside, you get your 13 by 6 parting space, all right? You get a comb on the left, comb on the right, comb in the back, as well as some adjustable straps. And hopefully, she is 
big head friendly. But let's get her popped on. All right. Let's get her popped on, popped on. Okay. Now, I'm not exactly getting ear to ear, okay? But kind of close. Close enough. All right. Here she is popped on. And I'll just come in closer so you guys can see the hairline. For some reason, this lace over here is tripping. Okay. I don't know what's going on with the lace over there, but we don't like that. We don't like that. All right. And here she is popped on, you guys. I think I'm going to part her on the left after I tint her down, okay? And she is pretty lightweight. Now, this two for me is coming off like a 1B, but that's just me, okay? This number two ain't twoing. But here is the curl pattern on her. Kind of your big curly barrel curl, giving you that wave effect, if you will. All right, she comes down right below my breast area and in the back, right at touching my lower back line, okay? So, you know, she's cute. She's giving a little bit so far with nothing being done to her, but we gonna see what she gonna give after we tint this lace, all right? So lace over here but so far she's cute i'm just finger combing to see i'm getting some light shedding so far probably about eight to ten strands not nothing too major kind of getting snagged up a little bit so this might be a wig that you'll need some simply styling spray with but honey baby <laughs> she's cute she is cute. I'm just fluffing her out some again. Still getting snacks. So make sure you got a good detangler on hand, honey. Because she is going to tangle up on you. Still getting snagged. And I'm just finger combing. I just wanted to finger comb to fluff it out some. But baby, she's cute though. But let's get into cutting the lace, you guys. I don't think I'm going to melt her down just for the sake of time today. Now, if you are interested in what my wigs look like when they are melted down, make sure you check out the video on Soveda, as I'm calling her. Um, I did use my ORS Wig Grip Fix-It Gel on her, and I used a little bit of Got To Be Instant Hold Spray. That held up really well. I'm not one of those people that sleep in my wigs. I just, first of all, my body ain't gonna let me sleep in a wig, okay? My mind ain't gonna let me sleep in a wig and my body, I sweat in my sleep, honey. And me sleeping in a wig is, is like me asking to knock on heaven's door, okay? <laughs> it might take me out of here. But anyway, um, I'm just gonna cut the lace on this one and just come back and give you guys my overall thoughts on her just because I am pressed for time. And I'm trying not to glue as many wigs down, but just to save my edges, y'all. Okay, hashtag save our edges. I do wish this wig came with an elastic um, band, and that would make it hold in place so maybe you could wear her glueless. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying I don't know if this one would be ideal to wear glueless, but we shall see, okay? So, and I'm still getting snags, okay? I'm just trying to see that, baby. She she is Tangle City. And I slick feel like I left her, I liked her better on the part it on the right side. And she is silky in texture. She is silky, okay? Ain't no yak. This is silk, okay? And that's probably why I'm getting all them snags. But she is cute nonetheless. 
All right, you guys, let's get back into it. Let me cut the lace and then come back and give you my final thoughts. But I feel like I like her better parted on the right side. Because I was getting a moment over here, not so much. All right, you guys, stay tuned. improvement okay home improvement wig improvement all right let this stay in place about eight to ten minutes and we're gonna come back and see what happened <laughs> of Jenna Collection, their Melt series. This is Miss Juniper in color number two. Honey, I said I wasn't really gonna melt her down, but I was curious, okay? I was curious how the lace was gonna do. And I really just applied some powder to the front. And I know if I go outside, it's gonna be, girl, yes, we see your lace. So the lace is gonna take a little bit of work. Now I could go in my hair fetish lace and not eraser kit, but I just really don't have time. I'm trying to do this video after work before gym session. So I gotta hurry up and get it out and I gotta pick up my daughter, okay? So I'm trying to do a lot with a little bit of time. But anyway, rant over about the behind the scenes stuff. But anyway, Miss Juniper is gorgeous, okay? Y'all ever had that boyfriend that he was just so fine? I mean, just, a gorgeous specimen of a man, but he had some character flaws <laughs> that just made you go, mm-mm, you ugly, okay? Now, Miss Juniper ain't ugly, but she got some character flaws, honey. She got some character flaws, okay? For one, she gonna tangle on you, sis. For two, she's silky. Now, ain't nothing wrong with a silky wig, but sometimes the silk is a bit much, Especially when she tangled the way this girl does. And all I did mainly was finger comb her. Then when I tried to run my brush through her, I pulled threads and everything else and that made a hairball, okay? I'm loud. Because this wig has so much promise and on this star card, I just knew she was going to be give, giving. And she is giving, but she's giving a lot of difficulties too. <laughs> okay? The lace, you know... Like I said, it's not too bad to melt down. I don't get ear-to-ear -ear lace, okay? Once I cut the lace, baby, my, my girl came behind my hairline. Again, I did not do too much to this wig at all because just for the sake of time. Um, I didn't put any heat on her. I just swooped her over because I liked her better on this right side than I did the left side because the left side wasn't giving me this. And I kind of like this, okay? Um... What else? What else? What else? Oh, ooh, big con. Big con, honey. Y'all see this over here? Can y'all see this? Baby, I don't know what happened in, in, the, in the manufacturing of her, but that lace is flipping over, okay? It is exposing itself. <laughs> and I don't know why that's like that. 
Okay, I don't I don't know if it's just my wig that's defective or all of them gonna have this little bit going on with it because I don't really get it on this side and it's constructed the same way on each side. Well, you get it a little bit, but not as much as over here. It's like excess lace that was left on or how they stitched the wig together. It didn't make sense. Okay, so somebody messed up on my wig. Now, I don't know if that's across the board on every wig, but I'm just saying, buy your beware. Okay, so I think this unit was in that upper $40 price range, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even $50, but I took the bets on her because, again, I have reviewed some units from this milk collection, and I have loved them, and I didn't get the issues I'm getting with this one, so I don't know if this one might have been rushed because they want to you know, hop on the trend of the success of the other units. But I feel like they could have took their time with her a little bit more to construct her a little better. But that's just my personal opinion, okay? Now, you're going to get some flyaways with this unit. And if you have some Simply Styling light silk spray that our girl, Is That Your Hair, put us onto, you're going to need some of this if you ain't already got it. And if you don't have it already, I'm going to provide a link for you, sis. This is a lifesaver, okay? It does help some. It ain't gonna stop it in its totality. It ain't gonna stop your unit from tangling, but it is gonna help. It's gonna help to get the brush to glide through. Now, the next time you will, you probably gonna have to spray some more, but that's just my opinion on these wigs that do have a tendency to tangle, and if you have bought this, just know it ain't a quick fix. It's a quick solution for if you're wearing it <laughs> and she tangling, and then you're gonna have to spray it again for your next wear. But it is worth the coin. It's worth the investment. But anyway, you guys, I don't think I'm leaving out any details. We did get the pre-pluckedness of her. It was pre-customized. Yeah. Natural hairline. Yeah, we can say that. So you're going to have to balance the pros and the cons on this one to see if it's worth it. Now, the overall look that you're going to get from the wig itself, it's gorgeous. It's just flawed okay honey she's flawed okay miss juniper you're flawed girl and you have to pray on it okay when you <laughs> you have to pray on it and you have to have some patience if you buy this wig that's all i know okay you have to have a whole lot of patience okay but the overall look that you're gonna achieve it might be worth it but you know that's my little rant about her but she is gorgeous y'all i mean I'm getting the moment, okay? But she gonna tangle on you, sis. She gonna shed a little, sis. She's not big head friendly, sis. I don't know if I said that, but she's not big head friendly. My head size is 22.5 inches. And mm -mm, she's not big head friendly, okay? So she is more medium head friendly. Small to medium head friendly. I wanna note that. She's small to medium head friendly. Now, if you have a big head size, you you can put a middle part in her and you can make her work for you. If you just want to invest in the flaws. <laughs> but anyway, you guys, I hope that you have enjoyed this video. Um, it's probably going to be kind of short, sweet, and to the point of it all. And thank you guys so much for supporting me on this channel. If you made it this far and you have not yet subscribed to the channel, by all means, make sure you click the subscribe button down below. Make sure you select all because I'm going to have a special announcement coming soon. Okay. And if you're interested in purchasing her, I will provide some links for you in the description box. And without further ado, peace and blessings.